In Cascade you can import animation from other softwares to help you block out your animation or you can use the physics tools like the ballistic curve and the auto physics to alter motion capture data or make your animations more realistic. In order to successfully import your animation you need to use the same armature both in Blender and in Cascader. The animation that will be exported is the currently selected action within the action editor. So you first need to open the action editor, select the armature so it is the active object and in the drop down menu select the action that you want to export. Keep the armature selected and open the FBX export menu. To reduce the file size turn of exporting any parts you don't want, for animation only the armature is necessary. It can reduce your file size, although with low poly objects like this it doesn't make much difference. The bake animation needs to be selected, but inside that you can turn off NLA strips, all actions and false start and keyframing. Only the key all bones is necessary. In Cascader open the scene with your character and import animation and select the FBX you just exported. To have the correct timing it's important to have the same frame rate in Blender and Cascader. In Blender the default frame rate is 24 frames per second, so set the FPS in under the scene settings to 24 frames per second as well. If you want to export 30 FPS from Blender and you made your animation in 24 FPS, you need to go to the output properties, set the frame rate to 30 FPS and under time remapping in this case set the new value to 125 so the timing of the animation stays the same. In Mixamo you can upload the same FPX that you used in Cascader and pray that it will work automatically correctly and you won't get some weird results like this. Or you can also use Mixamo to rig and skin your character and use that in Cascader. From Mixamo, in the download window you can select the frame rate of your animation, you can export the animation with or without skin. In this case the mesh is not necessary, so I export it without skin. Importing the animation into Cascader is the exact same method as before. Once your animation is inside Cascader, you can use the auto physics tools to make your animation more realistic or do anything that you can inside Cascader. I hope this video was useful in any ways to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.